So I learned so much from Mary. That, I mean, that's the biggest thing I'd say. She was like, I mean, she was a friend in the end, but I learned so much. Her knowledge was amazing. And she always put the patient first and, and relatives. She really, really cared. She had such a, an amazing bedside manner. You know, it, and it didn't matter what the person was like, she would always be the same. And we used to do clinics together. So um, I'd sit in there while she was doing the clinic and then we'd separate the patient from the um, from their relative. And she would say, oh, Jill, will you go in the other room and you can have a chat with the relative? And she would have a chat with the patient and then we'd swap around. And so we had them on our, our own. So it was really much, she was very into teamwork and how your opinions counted and, you know, and, and really valued you. But really at the centre of her um, world, as in with the dame as well, was the patient. Really, absolutely. And, and I know, I've, you know, I told you recently, my last, um, I had lunch with her the Christmas before last when we had it in the education centre. And when I said I was involved in education and she was really quite surprised, she said, Jill, but you don't see patients anymore. <laughs> and, you know, because actually at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about the people that receive the care that we give. And that, you know, unless we're still in touch with them, you know, we can't. So, yeah, no, she had a, she had an amazing effect. I mean, the team under her care stayed stable and we learned so much. And when she left eventually to go to the Elena Foundation, she gave us all um, a crystal clock, which I still have. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, but she was, again, like the dame, really interested in every aspect of her life. Really, and remembered all about the family. <laughs>